Bishop Henry Moon said, I was one of the missionaries who were called to go to the United States last fall. In my travels I met with Mr. David Whitmer, one of the witnesses of the Book of Mormon. What made me visit him was, I was reading the testimony of the witnesses to some people on Shoal Creek in Caldwell County. One of them, Mr. John Leffler, was very anxious to see one of the witnesses and to hear his testimony. I went down to Richmond with him. We got to Mr. David Whitmer's a little after dark. I told Mr. Whitmer that I was from Utah. From Utah, he said he. Yes, sir. Well, you have a good deal of trouble, I suppose, in Utah. Oh, not very much, I told him. He got up from his supper and went out of the house, and I followed him. I told him I wanted to have a few minutes' talk with him. He said he had not time. He wanted to see after some horses, and his son was sick. But I hung to see him, and followed him in the street, and told him that this gentleman, Mr. Leffler, who was with me, had come from Caldwell County to see if that which was written in the Book of Mormon, the testimony of the witnesses, was true. Mr. Whitmer turned round to the gentleman and said, God Almighty requires at my hands to bear record of the truth of the Book of Mormon. That book is a true record. It is the pure gospel of Jesus Christ, translated by the gift and power of God through Joseph Smith. He then talked to Mr. Leffler, who also asked him a few questions. When Mr. Whitmer talked a little to me about Utah, I asked the gentleman if he wanted any more conversation with Mr. Whitmer. He said no, he was quite satisfied, and we got onto the cars and went back to Caldwell County the same evening. I am glad that I, with my brethren, can also bear witness with regard to the truth of the Book of Mormon and the establishment of the Kingdom of God upon the earth, and that this is the Kingdom established through Joseph Smith and Brigham Young. I am as satisfied of it, and I know it as well as I know that I am talking to this large congregation. Amen.